a teenager, I had a notebook that I didn't want to share with anyone at all. But in Drawn to Death, there seems to be a 16-year-old that is sharing a lot of his life experiences with the world. So what exactly is happening in this game? I have a feeling your viewers and myself are more interested now in what was in this notebook. <laughs> we must, I don't care, we no, must discuss this. You cannot know about it. Tell me about the game. Oh, well, sorry I tried, y'all. Drawn to Death, yeah, it's a third-person multiplayer online shooter that is set primarily inside the pages of a high school student's notebook. So players pick a character that this kid is drawn, and you drop in with that character into this sort of massive world inside his three-ring binder. And so the characters drop in and find that they're in this world at war. It's bloody, it's violent, it's brutal, and it becomes this really strategic but still very fast-paced cross between an old-school arena shooter updated with modern sensibilities and a brawl so I don't know I would say like you know a modern version of Unreal Tournament meets Mortal Kombat is kind of what our, our touchstones are. So you said there's going to be a lot of strategy involved so how exactly does that work? I'm jumping into the game and I want to get to a certain amount of points right but I also need to defend myself as well I, I can't die. There's there's all kinds of little mechanics that we put in so it's everything from saying okay the win condition is to get to five points first but if you get killed you lose a point right and so what that does most shooters tend to be run run and just shoot and you don't really care if you get killed you just jump back and try to Again, we want players to learn the value of defense, staying alive, learning where certain valuable pickups are. We have certain pickups like magical medallions that if you hold them long enough, when you die, you'll come back to life and not lose that point, right? I'm just wondering what kind of imagination he has when it comes to weapons. Is it something a weapon that maybe he's seen in his real life, or did he make some of them up? Well, we have both, right? So we definitely have a kid who is raised on action movies and television shows that have assault rifles and sniper rifles and grenades and things, and, and you know, those are fun. They're, they're powerful weapons in the game. But obviously, because we're in a notebook, both from character design as well as uh, weapon design, we can do whatever we want, and, the, and we want to take advantage of that. So a couple weapons I love right now that we have on the show, uh, we have Dodgeball Dan, who is the upper torso. It's a severed dodgeball player hanging on your back, and he'll run around with dodgeballs and pelt the out of your enemies. The kid is daydreaming in class, not really paying attention, so he... He kind of gets involved in the battle. So if you pick up one of these icons, you only have three power-ups, these mechanics. You can, you can pick up as many as you want, but you can only use them three times per match. And so strategically, you want to make sure you're using it at the right time because those attacks can be anything. It can be the hand's holding a pencil, you're riding around and you can stab and kill your enemies with one hit. You can also have the hand come in, carry you around for vantage points. He'll draw a suit of armor on you so you're more protected. He'll erase your head and put a giant eyeball on your head so you can see through walls. So depending on what you want to use when you need it, that is how that power-up comes into play. So again, just lots of layers uh, for players who are really into the game to get into.